right, how's it going everyone? I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today and welcome to another video. Now, before I begin, I do wanna say this, I will be taking a little bit of a break over the next week or two. Um, I'm just kind of a little burnt out right now and Black Ops 6 is coming out tomorrow or on Friday, I guess. Um, so I'm gonna be grinding the crap out of that game. And so if I do upload anything, it's mainly just gonna be like quick benchmark videos or anything like that related to Black Ops 6, but I'm gonna be grinding the zombies on that game um, for the most part. So don't really expect many uploads, if at all, for the next week or two. Just giving myself a little break while I refresh myself and um, hopefully we can get back and do some more regular scheduled content in the future. But yeah, anyways, let's go to the topic at hand. So the Steam Deck and more specifically the D brand kill switch, right? This is an accessory that I purchased over 20 months ago, if I'm not mistaken. It's literally been almost two years since I've um, used this thing and Back when I did my review, my initial review, I really noted how much I paid for this thing. And, you know, I wasn't too sure how much it would stand up. So in this video, I'm going to give you guys kind of a update of what I think about the Kill Switch case and how has it been holding up. So yeah, let's get into it. So first, let's talk about the durability standpoint of the case. Like, how well has it been holding up over the past one or two years that I've been using it and surprisingly it's still very very good I mean I can say this confidently this is probably one of if not the best mobile device cases I've ever used in terms of durability I mean the fit and feel of it still feels as strong as it was when I first opened it and the grip is still there. Like this grippy texture, I was worried that it would wear down over time, but surprisingly, it still feels extremely grippy and I don't feel it like as smooth. I don't feel it getting any smoother, which is really nice. And then also the rigidity of this case is still fantastic. I mean, as you can see here, even at the loosest points, it's still very, very tight to the, the fit. And in general, like this case, this D-Brain uh, kill switch case has been standing the test of time. It is still 100% grippy and it's still like very, very comfy to use. And that was something I wasn't expecting. I was expecting this thing to give in in like a year's time, almost kind of like the their uh, other case, which is the ghost case. I was expecting the... Um, I was expecting the case to start giving in after a year or two and I would have to like worry about some issues with like potential feel or anything like that. But no, it's still very, very comfy, still very tight fit around. And I mean, it, it's it's fantastic. Uh, I, I was shocked at how well the durability, um, how well the, the case lasted. Some updated takes I do want to mention as well with this video, um, things that I praised in the previous um, D-Brand Kill Switch review that I did that I ended up changing my opinion on. First of all, the stand. As much and as nice to have the stand is, I found myself almost never using it. I mean, I use my Kill Switch, um, I, not my Kill Switch, I use my Steam Deck 95 to 99% of the time in portable mode. So like the kickstand is completely unnecessary for me. And the times that I've been wanting to use it for like storing SD cards in, once I got my one terabyte SD card, it was all game over. I, I, I almost never use it. And it's in my drawer right now collecting dust. So honestly, like just for aesthetic purposes, I wish that we had a version of the Kill Switch without this like little bump for the kickstand. That would be nice, but beggars can't be choosers. Another thing that I wasn't too hot about after using it that much is the uh, travel case. I mean, it is still a nice travel case, but when I'm bringing my Steam Deck along, a lot of the times with how much uh, battery drainage this thing can get when it comes to playing more demanding titles, I notice that I'm bringing my power bank a lot more so. And with that, a lot of the times I'm just bringing, instead of the Steam Deck with the travel case only, I'm bringing the Steam Deck with a power bank. And usually I like to fit that in like my dedicated Tom Talk Steam Deck bag. So honestly, like this travel cover is nice for a slim and quick carry, but I've realized that the times I actually want to bring a Steam Deck, I usually will bring a power adapter and place it in a Steam Deck bag, which already protects it. So I feel like this is kind of a redundant um, add-on that I purchased for. So 
as much as I like how sturdy and durable this thing is, um, honestly speaking, if you have a case already or if you plan to, you know, bring more than just your Steam Deck along, then honestly, like, paying the extra for the travel case may not be worth it in my personal opinion. But the uh, actual, like, case itself, um, all the accessories aside, the actual case itself is still holding up extremely well and I'm still very, very happy with what I purchased for this thing is holding the test of time and for the price you pay for it which is not cheap right $60 still is still not cheap but for that money you are getting quite a bit of worth out of your dollar I mean not only do you have the nice skins that you can customize with but the actual case itself is probably one of the best cases I've ever used for any mobile device. I mean, I'm not talking just about Steam Deck, I'm talking about like DS, iPhone, just any mobile device. This case has been incredible. Just be a little wary of some of the add-ons and stuff as they can be a little bit pricey. So yeah, I mean, the case itself is fantastic. Just be careful of not spending way too much on any um, additional accessories, so yeah. I uh, just wanted to kind of give you guys an update on the Steam Deck case uh, video as some of my opinions have changed over the year or two that I've used it. So just wanted to let you guys know on that. But yeah, um, hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick little update video on the D-Brand Kill Switch. If you did, make sure to leave a like. I'm going to be heading off and I'm going to be grinding Black Ops 6 now. And I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Later.